This is the good stuff. This is what you want to get. Show me. And then these, these are where it's at. All right, let's go. Sick. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, that's a that is nice. Strike a pose. That's the worst pose I've ever seen. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Nick from No Ways Way Productions. And I'm Joe. And today we have a pretty cool video for you guys. We went to Target and we actually picked up Hole Puncher. So you're probably thinking, what, what can you do with the Hole Puncher and how does that have anything to do with cards? What you could do with this actually is take normal bicycle playing cards or plastic bicycle playing cards and actually make them whistle like Banshee playing cards. So when you throw them, they'll whistle through the air just like Banshee playing cards do. And it's, uh, and it's actually pretty neat. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. Let's get right into the video. <laughs> All right guys, so to start off our tutorial, I have the plastic bicycle playing cards, the Banshee pack of playing cards, and the standard pack of bicycle playing cards. We're gonna start off with the bicycle playing cards, the standard. So these, these cards, they are made out of paper, and these are the normal cards that most people use for card throwing. Um, I really like these, they're awesome. I use them in almost all my videos. So now what we want to do is we want to mimic the Banshee playing cards. So now the Banshee playing cards, they have these two cutouts on each end. So four cutouts in total. And what that allows it to do is whistle through the air. So we want to mimic that on the uh, paper bicycle playing card. So to do so, is if you could see on the card, the little head of the person right there. What I like to do is I like to hole punch that out. So if we're looking at the bicycle card, it's in the top right corner is where we want to punch out if, I, if you're looking at it where from I am. So we're gonna take our hole puncher and we're gonna punch out the head right there. Nothing crazy, very simple. Punch out the head right there. Then we're gonna to go to the other side and do the same. And we're doing it diagonally so if the hole is right here on this side, you're gonna do it in this corner over here. So, let's hole punch this out. Nothing crazy, very simple. So now you should have a card that looks like that. All hole punched and ready to go. Now, we, since there's four holes in total, we wanna have four holes on our card. So we're gonna use our hole puncher, go a little bit further in, not too far, and hole punch. Honestly, it doesn't really matter where the holes are or how far apart they are. As long as you have the holes and they're in that general area, it will whistle. So there you go. That is your finished paper bicycle standard playing card. So moving on to the plastic playing card. This is a plastic playing card. It is made out of plastic. I really, really like to throw these, especially at the target, the foam board that we had in our previous video. These, they stick in really well. It almost sticks in every single time. Like these cards are fantastic. And when you're throwing them at the foam board, they don't dent at the sides. They, they always, they stay fine. They, they, they last very, very long compared to pl uh, paper bicycle playing cards. So now the same thing, to mimic it to a Banshee playing card. And now what's cool about these plastic ones is they're cheaper than Banshees, but they're made out of plastic just like Banshees. They feel just like Banshee playing cards. Maybe even a little bit thicker. But, I mean, they don't have the measuring system and they don't have this exact cutout, but we're gonna make it whistle just like a Banshee playing card. So, again, we're gonna go into the bottom corner over here. And what I like to do is with these ones, if you're looking at it, you see how there's that right angle right there with that like design coming out of it, there's that right angle. I like to put my circle of my cutout right in that corner of that right angle. Not perfect, but you can see that's where my hole is. Now I'm gonna do it to the other side on the opposite, opposite side in the opposite corner. Get it to that side as well. And then you're gonna add your second hole on each side. 
Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I want to say you're going, you're going a very small amount over. And do the same to the other side. And again, it's not perfect. But boom, there you go. You have your finished plastic playing card and your finished paper playing card and your banshee card. And now these all make the exact same noise when they fly through the air, all due to a simple hole puncher. This is the banshee card. This is the plastic card. This is the paper card. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they all made the exact same noise. In conclusion, guys, this playing card combined with this hole puncher can give you the similar whistling sound the Banshee has when you throw it. Now we're not saying that was a good battle. Now we're not saying that the ban it is better than a Banshee playing card, but you know it still makes the similar whistling sound of a Banshee playing card. So if you guys want your cards to whistle and you know do it with an ordinary bicycle playing card or these really cool plastic playing cards, which I really really like. Um, you can do this. Now I'm going to link everything down in the description below. I will link the plastic playing cards, I will link the banshees, and I will link a normal pack of bicycle playing cards. And you guys can go pick those up if you want. Um, also, there's no specific hole puncher, it's just any hole puncher will work. Alright, quick question for you guys. What do you guys think we should put on the back wall here, because it feels pretty empty? What color, design, or anything, just tell us in the comments below, so we can get on that. Right, Nick? Yeah any type of backdrop that you guys would like to see. Please help us. Also go follow us on our social media sites. I will link them down below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you really like the video. And don't forget to subscribe because we come up with a video every Thursday. So I'll see you guys next Thursday. That was pretty good. We, we did that the same exact time. I know, that was nice. I think mine was a little better though. So maybe one more. Okay.